Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible topics will be discussed and Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. For today's episode, we'll be looking at the question of, will God accept really bad sinners into his kingdom? Two answers must be given to this question. First of all, God will not accept anyone contaminated by sin into his kingdom. The only way one can be part of God's kingdom is by being forgiven through Jesus Christ and thus becoming pure and holy as God is holy. In Colossians chapter 1 verses 13 and 14 we read, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. If a person refuses to believe and obey Jesus Christ, God will not accept that sinful person into his kingdom. But secondly, in another sense, there is no person so sinful that God cannot or will not forgive him or her if he, if he or she repents and obeys. Romans 5 verse 20 says, But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Let all people everywhere know that the grace offered in Jesus Christ is sufficient to save them from their sins. In 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15, Paul said, This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. If people are bad sinners, Christ came to save them. But he won't save them if they choose to live in those sins, He will only save them if they repent and obey. This is comforting to people because there are some people in this world who have committed pretty heinous sins. Paul was one of those people in the New Testament. He carted away Christians to jail. He beat them. He had them killed. He watched as Stephen died being stoned for something he did not do. Paul said he was the chiefest of sinners because he persecuted Christians. That's why he said he was the chiefest of sinners. There are people today who might say, I'm the chiefest of sinners. I've killed someone, or I've stolen, or I've beaten someone, or I've done some other heinous crimes, and I'm in jail for them. There is no one who Christ cannot save if they will repent and obey him. What do we need to do to obey Jesus Christ and begin a life as a Christian? Well, we need to be born again. In John 3, verse 5, Jesus said, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. The Holy Spirit, then in the New Testament, teaches that you need to be baptized in water for the remission of sins. Where does it say that? It says so in Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Peter said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. In Acts chapter 22, verse 16, Ananias, speaking to Saul of Tarsus, says, Why tarriest thou? Arise and be baptized, and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. Baptism is not a work to earn salvation. It is what God commands us to do to receive the forgiveness of sins. Bad sinners need to be born again, being forgiven of their sins. Every one of us is a bad sinner until we obey Christ. Have you obeyed Christ? If you are not a Christian, the brethren here in Toronto would love to study the Bible with you so that you can hear the word of God, believe it, and obey it before it is everlastingly too late. If you would like to set up a study, you can send us an email at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode. Searching the Scriptures has been brought to you by the East End Church of Christ, which meets at 3601 Victoria Park Avenue, Suite 200, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Our hours of service are Sunday at 10 a.m. for Bible study and 11 a.m. for morning worship, as well as Wednesday at 7 p.m. for midweek Bible study. If you have any Bible questions that you would like to have answered during this podcast, you may email them to Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. That's Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Finally, if you'd like to catch up on any episode that you missed, you will find them at www.eastendchurch.org under the podcast tab found on the main page. I hope you found the few minutes that we spent together today useful in expanding your knowledge of what the Bible teaches. 
Please join me, the Lord willing, tomorrow when we will be discussing another topic from God's Word. Until you listen again, keep searching the Scriptures to learn what God wants you to do. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.